In series wound generators, the output voltage is directly proportional with load current. However, in shunt wound generators, the output voltage is inversely proportional with the load current. A combination of these two types of generators can overcome the disadvantages of both. So this combination of windings is called the compound wound DC generator. A compound wound generators have both series field winding and shunt field winding. One winding is placed in series with the armature and the other is placed in parallel with the armature. This type of DC generators may be of two types, the short shunt compound wound generator and the long shunt compound wound generator. In your screen is the short shunt compound wound DC generator where only the shunt field windings is in parallel with the armature winding. So here, we can rewrite or redraw the circuit. This is your DC generator. And shunt field is in parallel with the generator. This is our shunt field. The series field is in series with the load. Series field in series with the load. Across the load is your terminal voltage. This is EG and the direction of your current is from negative to positive. IA supplies the RSH. This is our RSH. supplies the RSE and also the load. This is our IA, the direction of our IA, upward. Downward is the direction of your ISH and ISE, also your IL or load current. ISE is in series with IL. ISE, since they are in series, so currents will be equal. Series, field, current is equal to your load current. And again, KCL at this node, IA will be equal to ISH plus I. SE or IL where your ISH so we will red draw again to battery VT load RSE RSH EG IA ISH and ISE ISH, what will be the value of your ISH? So if we will have a loop at this point, then you will get VT plus 
ISE RSE minus ISH RSH is equal to 0. So, lagi pen nyo DJ circuits yung hindi kwa. Manipulating this equation, you will get ISH is equal to VT plus ISE RSE divided by RSH. And your generated power is equal to EGIA. Your IL, nohan nga given, IL will be equal to load power divided by terminal voltage. Example, in a short shunt compound DC generator, a short shunt compound generator delivers a load current of 30 ampere at 220 volts and has armature series field and shunt field resistances of 0 0.05 ohm, 0 0.30 ohm, and 200 ohms respectively. Calculate the induced EMF and the armature current. Allow 1, one volt per brush for contact drop. We will draw first the circuit diagram of a short shunt compound generator. So this is our generator. Shunt resistance. It's series resistance. Connected to the load. Across the load is your terminal voltage. So upward EG RSH RSE. Direction of current, armature current. IA downward ISH ISE and IL are in series so they are equal the given parameters are load current equal to 30 ampere it is equal to your ISE as a series da. at 220 volt at 220 volts terminal voltage. Armature resistance, series field, and shunt field resistance, RSH. So RA equal to 0 0.05 ohm, RSE is 0 0.3 ohm, RSH is 200 ohms respectively and we have a uh, one volt per brush uh, voltage drop for brush so one volt per brush we have two brushes in a generator so vb is equal to one times two so you have a two volts brush contact drop the required is eg and armature current in a short shunt our working equation here eg will be equal to terminal voltage plus ia ra plus 
ISE RSE plus VB what will be the value of your IA so IA is equal to from our circuit diagram that in any IA KCL at this node so ISH plus ISE ISH is equal to VT plus ISE RSE divided by RSH so VT is 220 plus ISE is 30 ampere times RSE 0 0.3 divided by 200 so ISH is equal to 1.145 amperes so IA will be equal to 1.145 plus ISE is equal to 30 31.145 amperes EG EG is equal to VT plus IA RA plus ISE RSE plus VB to 20 plus IA is 31.145 times RA 0 0.05 plus ISE 30 times 0 0.3 plus 2 volts so EG is equal to 232.56 232.56 volts Example in long shunt So number 1 Sample 26.4 A long shunt compound generator delivers a load current of 50 amperes at 500 volts and has armature, series field, and shunt field resistances of 0 0.05 ohm, 0 0.03 ohm, and 250 ohm respectively. Calculate the generated voltage in the armature current. Allow 1 volt per brush for contact trap. Our next topic is the long shunt compound wound DC generator. Long shunt compound wound DC generator are generators where the shunt field winding is in parallel with both series field and armature winding. In this figure, this is the shunt field. It is in parallel with the combination of series field and the armature resistance. And then, it is connected also in parallel with the load. This is your output voltage or the terminal voltage. We can redraw the circuit. 
mabalin tayong nga uh, i- ihalin tulad ni generator into a battery kasi isumit kang nga isong nga uh, principal ag supply da okay so this is your battery this is your RA and RSE and it is in parallel with the shunt resistance parallel with the load across the load is your terminal voltage or the output voltage the direction of your IA is upward current in armature and it supplies the current in RSH and load so we will denote the current in RSH to be ISH and in load to be IL so as you can see the current flowing in RA is the same current flowing in RSE therefore IA is equal to ISE we will have our KCL at this node so IA is equal to ISH plus IL where your ish is equal to the terminal voltage terminal voltage divided by rsh kasi di ba parallel da ni terminal voltage kan ni rsh dito eh. so ti mabasbasa ng uh, voltage across rsh is the terminal voltage. And the generated voltage, EG, will become terminal voltage plus the drop in IARA, that in EG battery, the drop in IA, RA, plus the drop in series resistance. IA times RSE. Plus voltage drop at brush. No given. Ngayon no awan, equate it to zero. Simplifying, VT plus IA multiplied by RA plus RSE plus VB. So that is the value of your generated voltage. Generated power is equal to EG IA. Mul voltage multiplied by current is equal to power in watts. And then, IL is equal to load power divided by terminal voltage. This is your circuit diagram. generator series field resistance and your load across the load is the terminal voltage VT.
direction of current i a is upward this is e g and it supplies current i s h and the current in the load Dating RSH. And this one is your RSE. Given, we have a load current of five, uh, 50 amperes. And at 500 volts so that means that is your terminal voltage has armature resistance RA equal to 0 0.05 ohm RSE equal to 0 0.03 and RSH is equal to 250 Allow 1 volt per brush drop. So, you have 2 brushes in a given generator. So, voltage drop at brush is equal to 2 times 1. So, you have 2 volts. Required is the EMF or the generated voltage and armature current IA. So, saan natin nga isolve? From here, at this node, our equation, KCL equation will be IA is equal to ISH plus IL, where your ISH is equal to terminal voltage divided by RSH. So that is 200, uh, 500 500 divided by RSH is 250 that is 2 ampere. IA now will be equal to 2 amperes plus IL is 50 amperes. IA is 52 amperes. Solving for generated voltage, e.g., EG for long shunt is terminal voltage plus the drop in armature plus the drop in series field plus the drop in brush. Your ISE is in series with IA so that is equal. Equal that. Terminal voltage is 500 plus current armature 52 times RA is 0 0.05 plus 52. 0 0.03 plus 2. So your EG is equal to 
as you can see, the EG is larger than terminal voltage. VT is equal to 500 volts. Next example. In a long shunt compound generator, the terminal voltage is 230 volts. When generator delivers 150 ampere, determine the induced EMF or the generated EMF. Total power generated distribution of this power given that shunt field, series field, diverter, and armature resistance are 92 ohms. 0 0.015 ohm, 0 0.03 ohm, and 0 0.033 ohm, respectively. We will list all the given parameters before we draw the illustration of a long shunt compound generator. So here we have a terminal voltage VT. VT equal to 230 volts and it delivers so it means it is your uh, current at the load dito ti kasapulan nga current ij load mo na idel deliver ni generator so it means that is your il 150 amperes Required required R E G total power generated so that is your P G and distribution of this power so onaka distribute na dagit dito yung power generated. Ano de gijay parameters nga ng consume ka dito nga power. So given that shunt field resistance RSH, series field resistance RSE, diverter, so we will denote it as RD, <clears throat> and armature resistance RA equal to uh, Shunt field is 92 ohms, 0 0.015, 0 0.03, and 0 0.032 ohms. Next, we will draw the illustration or we will draw the circuit diagram of a long shunt. <clears throat> so, this is our shunt resistance our series resistance connected to a generator And it is across the load. This is your terminal voltage. This is the load. RSE. RSH. EG. Your generated voltage at the generator. Positive, negative. Diverter is in parallel with the series field. RD. Direction of currents. This is IA. IA. <clears throat> then this IA is the same current in the combination of 
RSE and RD. Okay? Han nga tay RSE lang. It is the parallel combination of RD and RSE, the current flowing in them is the same as IA. Direction of your RS ISH and this is your IL. So if we redraw this one and kabil tayo ti battery tap nun mas ma awatan tayo or no maawatan yun if you already imagine the circuit it is not necessary to redraw again okay this is your battery diverter RSE, RD, and this at uh, the internal resistance na ito yung RA, naka-series ka ni battery. This is your RSH. And then, load. Terminal voltage. Direction of current, this is IA. Same current in the parallel combination of these two, RSE in parallel with RD. Pakas dyan, ni IA. Siyempre, no, rimwari, simbre kita nga IA, rimwarmit lang IA dita. This node. And then, downward direction, ISH. This is RSH. IL. We will solve EG. First, EG. So, in a long shunt generator, EG is equal to Anong best? EG is equal to terminal voltage Plus, ano, IARA, the drop in, this one, in your armature resistance. Plus, the drop, voltage drop, across the combination of these two. So, let's say the parallel combination of RSE and RD, we will denote it as RSED. RSE in parallel with RD. So, this is the drop current flowing in RSE deconnected tie, it is the same current in the armature. So, IA multiplied by RSED. <clears throat> Anot value ni RSED? So, RSE is equal to 0 0.015 15 times RD 0 0.03 ohm divided by 0 0.015 plus 0 0.03 ohm. 0 0.01 ohm. Simplifying this equation, terminal voltage plus IA multiplied by RA plus RSED. So, terminal voltage is equal to 2. Ano di dyan? Ah, dapat kurang. What is the value of our IA? So, hante pa yung mas solve ni EG. Damdama dita. So, IA, from this node, 
KCL at this node, IA is equal to ISH plus IL. ISH plus IL. So, ISH is equal to in long shunt, kung natayo, terminal voltage divided by RSH plus IL is given, so that is 150 amperes. Just to make lang 150, 150. So, terminal voltage 230 divided by RSH equal to 92 plus 150 IA is equal plus 152.5 ampere oh you can solve now your generated voltage EG EG is equal to 230 plus IA 152.5 multiplied by RA is 0 0.032. Plus RSED 0 0.01. So, generated voltage is equal to 236.405. 2, Next, this is our letter A. Letter B is the generated power PG is equal to EG IA. 236.405 times IA is equal to 152.5. So that is equal to 0.0. .0 51 watts. So 36,051 watts. Letter C. Power distribution of this generated power. So if we remember our circuit, we have the armature resistance, the Combination of series field and the diverter. We have the shunt field and also the load. So, the gijit na panan dito yung generated power. EA is equal to the power loss in armature. So, that is equal to, uh, formula for power is IA squared, for armature power is IA squared RA. Next is the power loss in series and diver diverter. So, SED. Power loss in series diverter is equal to the same current IA squared RSED. Next one is the power dissipated in the shunt. So, power dissipated in shunt 
we have the terminal voltage multiplied by RSH or ISH squared RSH. Next one is the power in load or load power. In load power, we will use terminal voltage multiplied by load power. So if you substitute the given parameters, you will get PA is equal to Seven four four series field and diverter power loss is equal to two three two watts two three two watts. So, power dissipated in shunt is equal to 575 watts. The load power is equal to PTIL. Load power is equal to 34,500. So if you get the total of these powers, power distribution, you will get the generated power. So, equal ni letter B can ni letter C. 36,051 watts. Okay. Our last topic in the types of DC generator is the separately excited DC generator. So, a DC generator whose field winding or coil is energized by, by a separate or external DC source is called a separately excited DC generator. So the flux produced by the poles depends upon the field current of the unsaturated region of magnetic material of the poles, such that flux is directly proportional to the field current. But in the saturated region, the flux remains constant. In our figure, we can denote IF to be our ISH and our field shunt resistance. This is energized by an external source, for example, is the battery connected in the field winding. And we can see here that the armature current is equal to our load current. EG data. EG. So inside this generator, again, battery and this is your, let's say, battery. Ni generator. Kasi it supplies current and voltage. So, this is your RA internal resistance of the generator. So, it is connected to the load and across the load is your terminal voltage or the output voltage. Generated voltage will be equal to the terminal voltage plus the drop in IA, RA, plus the drop in voltage drop, I, plus the drop in brush. So, if it is not given, we will 
uh, equate it to 0. Getting terminal voltage, e.g. minus IA RA. Solving now or formulating now the power at the load, let's say this is PL, kung natay iding nga, terminal voltage IA or IL, kasi equal met ni IA can IL. Ngayon, where did we get this equation? Next one is the power delivered to the load. Or your PL. So PL, it is equal to the power generated at the generator minus the power loss in the armature. So power generated in the generator, it is equal to our PG is equal to EBIA. So that is EBIA minus the power loss at the armature. Power loss at the armature PA is equal to IA squared RA. So IA squared RA. So, PL now will be equal to IA multiplied by EG minus I-A-R-A. -A. As you can see, this E-G-I-A is the same value here. So, our P-L, it is equal to terminal voltage multiplied by I-A. Or, since IA is equal to IL, ito ay IA, IA is equal to IA, IL, terminal voltage multiplied by IL. So, power delivered at the load is the same formula for all the different types of generator. As you can see, this EGIA is the same value here. So, our PL, it is equal to terminal voltage multiplied by IA. Or, since IA is equal to IL, Ito ay IA, IA is equal to IA, IL, terminal voltage multiplied by IL. So, power delivered at the load is the same formula for all the different types of generator.